some interesting sports autographs, a bunch of autographed jerseys, Darren Sproles, Ellis Gerbach, Charles Barkley. The Barkley is very weak though, to be honest with you. This is not autographed, but it's a Dan Electric guitar. Kind of a fun little piece there. A lot of baseball autographs, PB Herman, uh, more baseballs, Nick Anderson, Dante Hall, Glenn Robinson, Derek Johnson, Derek Johnson, uh, I know there's George Brett in the sticks, Wally Joyner, Mike Sweeney, Johnny Damon. This one was an old KCA's. I think it's just a James King KCA's bat. It's a good old bat though. Okay, so there's those autographs. There's some autographed basketballs. Tommy Watson, autographed putter, or not putter, but autographed uh, club. And then there are several autographed baseballs, not all of which have been pictured on the website. George Kell, Nolan Ryan, George Brett, Nolan Ryan. Uh, I believe it's a KCA's ball there. Or no, Royals, like late 80s, early, late 70s, early 80s. David Cohn. And we're not sure who these are, they just came in. The uh, stack of postcards there are Negro Leagues, Buck O'Neill, Slick Surratt, and several others. And of course, Buck O'Neill and Slick Surratt have recently have passed here in the last couple of years, so hard to find, getting harder to find those autographs. Some really nice flow blue, all of its good old pieces in there. Good old milk glass uh, bird dish. These are new old stock radio tubes. Sears Roebuck, world's largest store, the Cunninghams, a C301As and a C300. Uh, new old stock folks, really good flat of tubes there. Orifor, some crystals, some sterling, some nice silver plate, sterling. Ooh, beautiful studio Nova Bowl. Some decorative oriental objects. Another nice big flat of marbles, including some acro agates. Check out with the oxbow. There's one, two, I think there was five or six I saw in here the other day of those and some others. I think there's a couple of, I think, I think it's a Peltier. I am not a marble expert, but I try and pick up as I can. And that was just a really good looking story piece there. And of course I know enough to know what they are, but I don't know which ones are really good sometimes. Some little guns. Nice little, looks like it appears to be Civil War. Nice engraving on it, good wooden handle, scales, nice uh, old candy mold. Make sure you look at that when you get here. Beautiful umbrella and handle. Alright, a little Daisy BB gun. Box full of um, Bennington marbles. Both the regular store and some blues in there. Some interesting stereo views. Four uh, latticinos, including two that are extremely small. The three pieces up front are really good, nice old uh, snow babies, all German. Lead clowns are pretty interesting. Box of old keys. The keen cutter piece appears to be a good old advertising piece. I mean, it's if it's a repop, it's a pretty good one. They did some, but it looks like it's an old one to me. Uh, interesting photograph there. Hog butchering time. Some coins. Some tin types. And some very interesting paper in here, a lot of real photos, uh, International Aviation Week, Chicago 1911, There's cowboy stuff in there, uh, lots of good odds and ends, Civil War era CDVs, another five of the alligator postcards. And these three photos here are by um, A.J. Harlan, good photographer from the Cripple Creek, Victor, Colorado area. Two of these are from Ore Transfer Mines. Uh, and then the third one's a big mining picture. Pretty hard to find, pretty good pictures there. A little group of old coins, some uh, good early 19th century, some you know, 1849, 1838, 1855 large cents, 1839 half dime, uh, a couple of you know, 1900, 1901, oh, silver dollars. Very good glass. Beautiful jack in the pulpit. Love the cranberry with the yellow threading. Tortoise shell, Bakelite, George Jensen sterling candlestick, Baccarat, 14 karat gold, about a 2 point di 20 point diamond. Pearls are on a 14 karat pin, 14 karat dark deco watch. Stack of plates there is Heron, old Heron, 
There's uh, two that are repaired. Oh, the uh, Vienna plate is crooked. I'll have to change that. It's a beautiful Vienna, Vienna plate, not Vienna type, but a good Vienna plate. Nice mesh bag. The three bronzes are Pozinski. Two of them are sold out editions. The third one is not. The uh, lizard on the obelisk back right is not so look, but the lizard bowl and the uh, chameleon on pyramid is sold out. Beautiful Russian enam Russian Russian lacquer box. Just wonderful paint. Mexican sterling serving set there. Some kachinas. Interesting uh, tribal necklace, beads, uh, moccasins. Tiffany and Company playing cards from the 50s. Some sterling silver. Bunch of a bunch of pens, including two Tiffany. The one on the right, as I'm looking at them now, is sterling. The one on the left is uh, Elsa Peretti. So a couple of sterling, a couple of Tiffany pins, pens. I'm sorry, pens. Nice uh, Civil War image. Another Hamel Plaza Fountain scene. Piece there. A couple of Metlock plates. This is a neat painting on board, 1887. A little label on the back, give you an idea of what it is. Neat old piece. Motel Mulebach. Wonderful old rose medallion. I mean, just a great early, early Chinese bowl. Sterling beads, Nortaki. Fulper candlesticks, hard to find. I think I've seen one other pair in the last 10 years. Native pieces, little uh, nice compact there, iron. Bayreuth, I think that's Copeland little naughty Nelly type tray there, German. That looks like, feels like, smells like Steuben, but there's no marks on it. Great aesthetic uh, spinner. Some interesting pieces here. That piece is ivory. Beautiful chocolate set. This is rules from the Kansas City, Missouri School District from the directors of when J.B. Jackson Jr. was the secretary and Frank Faxon was the president. Not sure when that was, but it looks like 1920 to me. This is a great little drawing here. It's a California mission signed on the, labeled on the back. Uh, pastel appears to be a nice silver plate piece there with the griffins heads in the corners. These are Weller. This one is damaged. Blue Willow, Candlewick, a little Lariat piece there. This is Minton. It's a nice uh, Limoges. Sterling, the leak, little advertising group hires. These are rich. This is Richardson, and the shot glasses are different companies. We'll probably sell it as a lot. Van Briggle, Horth, German, Peters and Reed, more than likely. Neat arts and crafts, head vase, and that's a beautiful piece of Dalton stoneware. Uh, nice couple of uh, European pots there. Good clocks. Nice old ones. CB and O Railroad. Here at the sea is Baltimore, Ohio. Railroad China, including another Baltimore, Ohio. Pennsylvania, I think that's Santa Fe. This is a neat uh, box full of paper figures. Union Pacific, Santa Fe Railroad China Poppy. This is a hard to find, hot, pretty expensive glass there. Santa Fe with the uh, seven bands, I believe. And that is a specific thing. These are pretty little cash pots. Another couple of watt bowls, some Fiesta, Lamb Lamp, a little uh, artwork there. I did not have a chance to photograph this yet. There's a lot, and I mean a lot, of Japanese wood blocks in here. Uh, probably Sunday or Monday, so you'll have to check the website on Monday and Tuesday because we'll be adding to it un up until uh, at least probably Monday at this point. We've become really busy. We've got a couple of uh, in the state auction we're getting ready for. Oops, it's full of coins and stamps. Railroad, over at Letterhead. Some Roycroft uh, paper. Set of art books. Huge box full of sheet music, appears to be. A couple of antique long guns, Remington and a Winchester, I believe. Uh, Winchester and Remington. Alrighty, folks, see what we got. There's gonna be more added. Probably hang up a couple more pictures. But this is the majority of it. It's going to be a really fun auction. And I uh, hope to see you on Tuesday night. Don't forget that we are actually closed from 3 to 4.30 on auction day now. 
preview go, you know, we're open from 9 to 3 regular business hours, but then the preview starts at 4.30. Look forward to seeing you then and having a great auction on Tuesday night.